Top 7 Amazing Facts About Christmas, Part 1. Here are the top amazing facts about Christmas that you have never heard before. Christmas is an occasion full of happiness and fun. It is a time when we commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. Watch this video to learn the top amazing facts about Christmas and how it is celebrated around the world. Hello guys! Welcome to our channel Facts Good. I am Emma Emily from FactsGood.com and I will be presenting you the video today. Before we get into the video make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Also like and follow us on other social medias. Make sure to check this article on our website FactsGood.com. All the links are in the description. Make sure to turn on subtitles, caption for the video for a better experience. Now let's dive into the video. Number 1. The first song to be played in space was, Jingle Bells. When, Jingle Bells, was broadcast during NASA's Gemini 6A space mission on December 16, 1965, it became the first music to be played in space. The song's original title, One Horse Open Sleigh, was given by American composer James Lord Pierpont in 1857. The Christmas hymn, Jingle Bells, was performed on a harmonica and small sleigh bells by Air Force pilot Thomas Stafford and Navy pilot Wally Shearer soon before re-entering Earth's atmosphere on December 16, 1965, a little over 56 years ago. The song was not, however, played just for world peace and goodwill toward men. No. The long-standing military custom of military aviators teasing civilians on the ground brought the airman and sailor together. Number 2. Christmas trees first gained popularity in England thanks to Princess Charlotte. Queen Charlotte, George III's consort, brought the tradition of putting up Christmas trees to Britain in the late 18th century. However, a yew tree was used instead of a fir. Images of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert's family gathered around the Christmas tree were featured in the Illustrated London News in 1848, helping to popularize the tree during the 19th century. The Christmas tree was really created by Queen Charlotte, the grandmother of Prince Albert's bride, and is widely ascribed to him for bringing it to Britain. Charlotte, like Prince Albert, was born and raised in Germany, where it is thought that bringing a tree inside for Christmas and decorating it with presents dates back to the 16th century. When Charlotte was a youngster, her family would always adorn a single yew branch and place gifts for one another underneath. This was the practice she carried to England with her when she wed King George III in 1761. Number 3. Going to KFC for Christmas dinner is a tradition in Japan. The busiest day of the year for KFC Japan is often December 24, when sales are 5 to 10 times higher than usual. KFC advertisements play on TV as Christmas gets closer, they are very delicious looking. Those who don't reserve a bucket will have to wait hours in line. Since the 1970s, the well-known American fast food chain has been a part of the Christmas traditions in Japan, claims KFC Japan, which has its busiest season for sales. KFC's busiest day of the year is usually Christmas Eve, when there are nearly 10 times as many customers as usual. Despite the fact that just 1% of Japanese people identify as Christians, the holiday is celebrated widely in Japan, but in a significantly different way than in the US. Japanese Christmas celebrations often include strawberry cake, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and romantic dinner dates, but the nation has also evolved its own customs. According to Time Out Japan, Christmas is also marked by Christmas markets, festive lights, trees, and Santa-themed decorations. Number 4. The Christmas Carol, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, was sung non-stop until a reward was given. The most merry song that people could possibly sing when caroling in a group at Christmas time is, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, perhaps followed by, Jingle Bells. Everything is stated in the title. The repertoire of Christmas folk songs does not provide a more straightforward method of sharing joy. But where did this really straightforward tune originate? Why is it spreading so easily? And is figgy pudding really worth making such vehement demands for? The phrase, 
we won't go until we receive some, seems more appropriate in a protest song than in a cheerful Christmas carol. Christmas carol singing became a custom in England some centuries ago. The neighbors celebrated together at this time, and the wealthier families gave gifts and awards to the less fortunate families for singing holiday songs and carols. Numerous Christmas songs were based on biblical themes and had deep religious undertones. We Wish You a Merry Christmas is a light-hearted song. The English folk song, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, dates back to the 1500s and is a relic of the era when disadvantaged carolers would solicit donations from affluent listeners. With its cheeky request for figgy pudding and refusal to leave the affluent person's porch until some is given, right here, the song mocks the interplay between the rich and the poor. Because this is an unusually earnest request for a Christmas carol, it's meant to be sung with a bit of humor. Number 5, the very first official Christmas card was sent by Queen Victoria. The first Christmas card was sent by Queen Victoria, and the first commercial Christmas card was ordered in 1843 by Sir Henry Cole, who was also the first director of the V&A and helped Sir Roland Hill introduce the Penny Post. 1,000 cards were printed in the first batch. Cards were created by artist John Colcott Horsley, produced lithographically, and then hand-colored by expert colorist Mason. Under the alias Felix Summerlee, Cole sold the remaining cards for one shilling a piece after using as many as he needed. Number 6. Hanging stockings was started by accident. The tradition of hanging stockings near the fireplace in anticipation of Santa Claus's arrival dates back to 1823, when Clement Clark Moore, or maybe Henry Livingston Jr., penned a visit from St. Nicholas. St. Nick? filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and placing his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose, the poem's final line reads. For decades, the Christmas custom has been incomplete without stockings. The stocking custom has changed dramatically since that fabled evening when gold was discovered inside a freshly cleaned stocking. People began to wear bigger stockings, such as long white socks or high knee socks, perhaps taken from dad's sock cabinet. Then why not? It also meant more presents. Today, many people wear boot-sized stockings with wacky patterns and labels for each member of the family and their dogs. Number 7. The busiest day for shopping isn't Black Friday. The busiest shopping day isn't Black Friday. Just before Christmas, there are two days. The start of the holiday shopping season for millions of Americans is the day after Thanksgiving, when they have a rare Friday off, and a few football games to watch on television. Black Friday is often referred to as the busiest shopping day of the year. Black Friday may be the day when the most Christmas shoppers enter shops, but it isn't always the day with the highest dollar amount spent. Get in touch with us and ready for the part 2 of this article Amazing Facts About Christmas Part 2 soon. All the details of this video are in our website. Links for the article are in the description. Also follow us on our other social media accounts. This is the end of this video. Like the video, comment your idea about this video, and support our channel. Thanks for watching our video.